Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new video and today we are back in Minecraft Peaceful Survival Series. So in the last episode, uh, we have uh, finished uh, clearing this land. Yeah, the, the leaf blocks is going to decay very quickly. But also, uh, I somehow managed to get a grass block onto this platform, this underground platform here. And yeah, now we have uh, grass uh, spreading over it. So that's kind of good. So before the video starts, I hope you are subscribing. And in yeah, just subscribe and leave a like. That was really awesome. Click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out any new videos. And I think my yeah, my hotbar is really empty. Not empty, like very full, but can't uh, get out anything. So in oh my goodness, I just fall down. Are you kidding me? So uh, in the meantime, I uh, actually uh gather some animals. Let's check it out. So the three types of animal that I have gathered it was a uh, pig, sheep, and also cow. Let's take a look. So currently we have uh, this many amount of pigs, sheep, and the most importantly, cow. And I'm going to breed them over time, and then uh, in today's episode, we can actually start uh, building out the outline of like uh, the shape of this uh, animal farm. Like where is it going to be? How is it going to be? Uh, yeah, something like that. And also in the last episode, we have uh, discovered a village. The third village, which is uh, very close to the second village, which is pretty nice. And yeah, let's get started working on this area now. I just have to plan it out. How am I going to build this? And what is the walls is going to be? And that will be great. So after a bit of uh, planning, uh, we have the I have the final idea out. So uh, I just measured it. Uh, the length is 28 blocks and the width is 14 blocks. So I this is what I'm thinking. So we have that place for the entrance right but the but i work out the center of uh, 18 is about uh, 9 and 10 in here which is like near the house right here so we could have something that uh we can have mine out something uh, let's take a look up here it's very hard to explain this but let's take a look so we can have a hallway a two block hallway from all the way here to there and next to them is going to be the pen so how is the pen going to work is that um it's going to be a first, first, first small space with a length of 6 and a width of 4 so we can create 7 of those like gates for here for the animals to be in here so it's going to be the same from the other side and which is a single floor containing 14 animals so remember how I said before that this is going to be the starting point the staircase going down now we have measured it it's right here and right next to the house like uh, what we can do here is actually uh, create like a uh, underground space maybe uh, to go down to there or we can or have to move this entire house one block that's going to be hard because uh, if we want to rebuild it it's going to be very very hard to rebuild we can have like the entrance on the other side but it's going to just be like not very good or another alternative method we can actually have like a water stream or like a bubble elevator going from the top to the bottom that could also work but we just need uh soul sand and also magma yeah i'm just going to have a, a think about this later and we're just going to start working on the design Alright, so everything is finished now. So we have got the outline and the walls finished building. So I'm trying to like actually tell you guys uh, something very uh, bad. So after I building all of those walls, I discovered that there's not enough space for the seventh one. Uh, maybe not. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So each one of them is actually only six. Now what we have to do is actually transport 
uh, all the mobs down here is going to be hard and it's going to be uh, wasting a lot of time so I don't want to do time lapse with this part I'm just going to skip over and see you when I am finished oh my goodness guys I have finally traveled all of the animals into that animal farm now we can actually finally take down this thing okay let me tell you it was pain in the backside to actually get all of the animals into that area because it was so hard and I killed two animals uh, during this uh, period which is uh, one sheep and one cow well which is not good because uh, the cow fell from a hard place and then a sheep uh, actually uh, killed it and I just killed another cow just now and it was not good but in the back side is great and it's really fun to transport all of them and it's also very pain and now we're just going to start moving on to the next uh, topic into this episode is I actually transport a villager uh, all the way from the village far away from the nether and then all the way to the overall it was hard it was so hard I have spent 10 to 15 minutes just transporting this villager here and now uh, you have uh, no like yeah he can't perform anything he can't trade Yes, finally, uh, we can trade this guy for emeralds and for iron chest plate. And we have a lot of coal at our base. So now he's our uh, armory with the blast furnace on. That's great. That's great. Now we can transport another villager and then make a little space uh, somewhere uh, here. I'm not sure. Somewhere here. We can make a base, a small camp with a lot of beds. Then we can produce a villager here. It's going to be fun and it's going to be very boring at the same time so now let's actually start uh transporting another villager from all the way over there let's get started So now we have got the other villager in here and also this villager in here. Now we're just going to create a room for them to like uh, mating for like uh, to get babies. So uh, the room is going to be like over here. We're just going to get some uh, netherrack and then just like uh, get a few beds in and then get a few like forgery items in like blast furnace. Then they can make babies. It's, I, I don't think that's very logical but that that's how Minecraft works. <laughs> So yeah, let's actually get them into this stone here and uh, yeah, we'll be done for today's episode So yeah, they are all in here now and they now can actually start mating and actually get babies You know, I just put some blast furnace and some beds That will, that hope it will help them I, I'm just going to make sure that uh, there, there's like no like uh, lightning uh, hitting the villagers or something like that Let's just uh, add another wall of uh, netherite up here and some cobblestone. <laughs> it doesn't look uh, particularly nice uh, from now on, but it's going to be looking nice uh, afterwards. So yeah, as I said, uh, near like uh, in the middle of the episode, what are all the furnace about? So I want to smelt glass. So you know we have like this uh, extremely large area uh, for the animal farm over here, and then we need uh, glass to put it on here. So I decide to, what about uh, we can change this entire house into a furnace house to be a furnace smelter house so we can actually smelt more glass I mean like, it seems stupid but that's how it is I just uh, place all the furnaces and then just gonna smelt starting smelting glass and just like yeah this entire house is like basically filled with furnaces so yeah thank you so much for watching today's episode we did a lot of progress in today's episode if you do enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my channel leave a like down it's really awesome click the bell for notifications so don't miss out any new videos bye guys